I feel like Chain Whip has been one of the more underrated weapons that you can play on Berserker, so I've been trying to experiment with it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I think we go for the Steel Goob line, because I think I would win some other matchups that we lost that game. So we get this. I guess we get Banana. Maybe I make a Torch. A torch. And Shield seems really good. I'm not gonna look at uh, this yet. No. Okay, that's the plan. Oh, the Vine Pots, those could work. I guess, but they only trigger once I have 20 blind or other debuffs next to the blind. You know? Another sword. Okay, this opener already looks a lot cleaner than the last one. I don't think we get gloves yet. We could already craft them, but... No. I think Gembox is an insta-buy, it's just so good. The reason you keep your combat speed? Yeah. Uh, mainly because I like watching combats. To see what goes wrong, right? It makes me like realize why I'm losing. For example, now I know that I stem out against the shield, so maybe I should consider another banana. If I go too fast, I might miss things. I like understanding what happens. I know a lot of people don't like it, like I get comments about it, but I think it's more fun if you like spend a lot of time on a backpack and make something and actually see it perform instead of just speed through it and go next, you know? Oh, that's a hungry, early hungry, but I don't think I want it. Right. Wait, I have some really good positioning here. I guess I'll just do... How do I do this? I want Madonna in as well. Maybe no banana. Already lock boots. No. Vampire mask. What do you mean with vampire mask? Nice. Into a burning ring of fire. I'll make a spike shield. It's also a crafted item. So far, we haven't lost a round yet. I like this opener much more. Three stones. It was kind of hard. Oh, I can put stones next to Hero Sword. I should do that. It's my bad. Oh, Frisky Dingo. Yo, thank you for the Prime, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Hope you enjoy your stay and uh, the content, man. Nice, you got the whip already. We don't have Goobert yet, so I'm stimming out. Fuck. So it might be better to just get the armor here and roll a bit. Oh, and a box. I actually don't have space, I'm missing one space. Unless I don't play the box, I guess. Oh no, I... yeah. Another better ghost like? It's an auto battler and a puzzle game. It's uh it's really fun. There is a free beta. Or demo I should say now. It's out of the beta. It's freezing up. Hello? Yeah. Hammer dagger. Yeah, it's a bit weird waiting having to wait for the goobert now. Does anyone know if the chain whip scaling we remove debuffs is only from whip or other sources? Other sources as well, because we tried it with Dark Heart and it worked. So, and with uh, Purple Gems it also works. Bloodthorn, I don't think that's something we want to do. Keeping this locked is so weird, but yeah, I think Steel Goob is just still something I want to do. I need to get a next turn though, because that's turn 7. So maybe I give up on this, this was just a strong opener. I always got space. I could get the boots, but I need space if I find um, 
Gubert next turn. About life that you figured and learned after. A lesson about life. Ah, huh. it's a good question. Mm, I actually don't know. So I think I gotta think about it. Also, this can see the sword. I should swap this. I don't know why I'm not doing this. I keep forgetting. <laughs> but I think... Um, okay, we did lose. I don't know. Yeah, I'll think about it. I think I'll buy it already. If I don't see Goobert, I guess it is what it is. Perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna stim out now for sure. So I guess I don't even put them in the duffel bag. And good thing I bought the space, right? It's here for Anvil, but I'm weaker than... I want the chain map when I hit Anvil. I'm trying to figure out how to do this because I don't want... Uh, you're gonna need to redo it a little bit like this. That makes more sense. Because I... I need to armor in, but this is one space here. I guess the banana has to go in, but I also wanted Fanny, so like, like this, but then the armor doesn't fit. I don't know why it's so tough. Do you have this in the bag and then this also still seen? Is it even possible? Maybe not, because I always got one in the bag here. Maybe it's not even possible. I shouldn't care. Just do this, I guess. Save me the headache. Not even using my, my duffel bag. Mm. We got a lot of gem sockets, this one is enough since we get some returns from random buffs. Mm. Yeah, we did end up losing one round, but I think we kind of did nothing for too long. Now we won against Hungry Plat Customer Card, okay. We got Anvil, we have Steel Group Chain Whip now. There's also a crafted item, but I don't think it can be seen if I want the whip to be seen, right? It can, actually. Here. But then... Yeah, it can. Okay, hold up. That's good. So, 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 so... We have our goob. Wait, no, we start with the, the whip. Which is in the full bag. And Fanny for now. This. Here. Anvil will go here. Issue is that the Goobert won't have grade or an activator here. The fullback should also be going here then. It's so I can put an activator in here. Yep. Shield can go here. It's a crafted item as well. It's an activator. Actually, that works. I do miss a star right now though. Problems for later. And then we just fill the rest. Yes, perfect. Perfect. I'll put the yellow in backpack as well still. So, we have still Goobird with some good activators. Anvil sees a 4 right now. Okay. Round 8, I think I'm in a really good spot. The color palette still just fits, yeah. Stimming out, they have a rapier, rapier leaf. Interesting. And I'm in there. Well, I'm just chilling right now. Wow. This thing is 22 DPS already. I don't think we stimmed out at all. Stone helm would still be good. This will activate, right? After we go battle rage and this triggers, I think it will likely activate. Could go for stone gloves, which is also interesting, but I don't think it's something I want to do. Well, I got this. I think I'll log this and look for space first. Look for space first. I like purple gem. I guess I can get it. Unless I don't find space. This block or this is good against um blind. 
which is an issue. Fuck, but I need space. Maybe I don't look this. Valor. What are we gonna need a rid? I'll make one of these. Look at this. I'll combine. Okay, not a great turn. But yeah, on sale crown I think has to be worth the pickup. Just in case. Busted Blade. With Shaman Mask. They don't have any runes yet though. Okay, okay. Uh, Galactic Gallo. Welcome, thank you for the follow. Oh, wait, he went through my armor with the blue gem. Nice. Okay, we got their soul. We did similar damage. But I just also removed buffs and had healing and better tech. Ooh, Horde of Darkness incoming and armor. Okay, we have a lot of good shit. I just need space now. I guess we don't go for a crown because it would be more important to value this. Right? Maybe? The side of the sword never feels a surprise, but it's kind of kind of thick, yeah. So anyway, this would have to go here for... Or... Here. I know gem is a crafted item, yes. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna skip this. Because I have too much to do already. And I need space, right? I can unlock everything. I do really want the armor, though. Actually, maybe not. There's one armor enough. I do like two a lot, though. Battle rage, damage taken, reduced by 15. In armor. Uh, maybe I don't, actually. Normally, I go for double leather armor, but... Uh, I'm playing with spike shield this time. Yeah, I could play one here. I think I value the speed more, though. It's supposed to damage a less stamina. This would cleanse a random debuff. Or remove more buffs and give me more scaling. Money and space are tight. I'm gonna go for this. Lug the hard and ignore the armor for now, because it's too much. Looks good. I can work with this. But Nico, how are you doing? Good morning and curry. Welcome guys. Blood goob hammer dagger. Right, it's two crystals. What? Oh, they have blind. Okay, I'm really happy with the crown now. Holy shit. Uh, we need boots, I guess. Dragon skin boots also cleanse debuffs. Um, nice, they died. I'm gonna just die to my spikes, honestly, with all the daggers. It's looking really good. We only lost one round this game, and it was uh, just a very slow round. Uh, we find space, red. Right? More space, red. Right? More gloves is also good, but uh, space. There's a cap as well. Stone caps are a good end game. Yeah, we're just optimizing now. We have a lot of good shit already. This is a 3 second trigger. The only issue now is that I can't play a double trigger here. And that I cannot um, see a star as long as I want to keep shield here. So maybe in the future I put shield here. What trigger would I put here though? Or I just make my peace with anvil not being good ever. I could also do this. And just put two triggers there, but I don't think that's much better. But what stone caps do? Stone caps um, just are basically an enhanced normal caps. You have 25% to resist crit and stuns, which there's a lot of uh, hammer dagger and stun builds and crits. It just ruins the rangers mainly and like the um, dragon players a bit with the draconic orb. But I'm liking stone caps the most like as an endgame item. Yeah. I'll combine the gem as well because I want a really good purple gem in the whip. Because there isn't a one space crafted item to activate goob. Yeah. <laughs> or we just neglect uh, triggers on the right side of goob, maybe. Reds. 
The scaling of group actually isn't even that much now that I think about it. Like, I don't even know if group, seal group is worth it here to scale the whip. It's just a fail safe in case they don't have uh, buffs to eat, right? But still. I'm not timing out right now with single banana. They don't have a shield though. Again, shield will probably stim out right now. Holy fuck. It's dealing a lot of damage. Okay. In one of your videos that you came from Belgium. But what's your native language? Uh, Flemish or like it's kind of Dutch. Um, I speak a little bit of French. Tiny bit German. And that's mainly uh, an English of course. Okay, boots are good. I still need so much more space. Yellow gem is also good. This game is just uh, space limited. I need to roll without boxing, I think. This is nice, but I kind of spend 8 gold. Good space. Sell a green gem, sell flame. I'll sell a green gem. Ah, maybe flame, actually. I don't want to upgrade the gloves either. I think having normal gloves here is fine as well. I might want to put the yellow gem now just in backpack, though. For stamina, if I'm having more gloves. Yeah. And I'll not play with the flames for a round. We don't combine. We make the boots instead. Oh, combine the purple gems? Right, I forgot about that. I just mentioned it. Yeah. Um, second whip? No way. Any tips for beating Burst Pyro as Ranger? Burst Pyro. What kind of Burst Pyro are you talking about? Like dragons? Mmm, blind, man. It's actually more blind than I expected. I said there's not damage blind, like that's the main count to this build. But I'm seeing a lot more today. Mainly like Dark Saber Reapers. I wonder who's popularizing it. But I think uh, I just need more boots. I just, I had a crown cannot keep up. Oh, we still won. 10 blind. What is our currency? 40. Good. I mean, moon shields or sun shields are always good against bursts, or most of the time. Or valors if the burst is just melee weapons. Oh my god, a perfect amethyst on sale? <laughs> okay. We will be scaling like crazy. Holy fuck. I'll take it. Looking for stone, we're looking for crypto crystal. Oh, stone skin potion, crypto crystal. We're looking for um, blood amulets to make vamp gloves. And then just continue with our end game, right? Do we still want to combine this? I think we do. Sure. Also, we don't want to play hammer. I, fuck, I'm playing hammer too much because um, I'll just stem out if I hit shields, right? Yeah. Will you combine again? Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Triple dragon skill armor. Okay, I don't know how I feel about single. It's the first time I run single dragon skill. Mm. Yeah, I think double is still fine, but I don't hate spike shield opener. It just saved all our HP. We didn't lose a single round with this. If I give him more space, we can do this, right? Or more money. Facing Excalibur, well, good thing that I eat all their buffs. <laughs> so we should completely shit on Excalibur now. If I have Heart of Darkness, like, it's not even gonna be close. Um, yeah. We just deal no damage right now because of the dragon skills, right? And him having a really long... Um, I only have one color. Yeah, I'm having really long battle rage. Um, I also don't have damage healing. We triggered our hard container. Which gave me some max health and power. Oh my god. Dude, the DPS is absurd right now. Look at it chunking away. Yeah, I love whip. It actually is so fun. Uh, we can't just super hard. We're almost at 100 damage with our whip. How much damage did I deal total? Almost 700. Nice. Small gem and wipe wasted now. Does it go over 100? I think it goes 
it triggers both gems. So I think it triggers this and then also triggers this so I could remove two buffs. I think that's how it works. Like I can remove two buffs and upper hit. More boots is also still good, I'm pretty sure. Although, okay, I think um I think Stone Skin Potion and um the purple gem, no, uh Crypto Crystal would still be better hits though. As crafted items, yes. And this we could sell the thing, right? This would only be good to make another boot. That's it. I think I'm selling this. Yep. This works. My summer has also been fine just with single banana. And yellow gem. I think I need to commit onto more stamina sources right now. Excalibur Burning Banner. It's a chili Excalibur. Are people just playing Excalibur on every class except Reaper? <laughs> Looks like it. Yeah, I need to craft gloves. I forgot to unlock. Hmm. Whip has a 130% chance to remove the buff. Um, wait, what else am I missing? Why well, I just realized that when you play Pyro, general law of luck is enough to counter blind, which is weird since I'm a ranger main during demo, but forgot about it somehow. Mm, looks like we're losing against this though. Oh, we just entered battle. Okay, we didn't weren't even in battle range yet, now we are. So no, I think our scaling is way more than their scaling red. Oh, I missed though. The only thing I hate about this bolt is that we only have 85% accuracy on this and blind foxes. That's the main issue I have right now, because I still miss a lot of hits. Um, now nah, we're still losing to this. We don't have the sustain, I guess. And their burning bar banner also protected a lot of their debuffs. Or, or a lot of their buffs. I, I showed up protected a lot. We did end up dealing a thousand damage. So we did a thousand damage, wasn't enough. Yeah, this the burning better is just, I guess, a good counter against this. Fire seems really crazy. Heat, that's pretty good. Mm, how would we beat this? I guess just better end game, right? Do you have 30% chance to remove an extra buff? I think so. I think it's like on hit, this gem triggers and this gem triggers, so I can remove two buffs per hit. I think, I think, I need to keep saying I think. Don't quote me on it. Another color is good. We got more armor now? Nah. Roll again. Okay, still four more rounds, a lot of time. I still want to Heart of Darkness. It's still pretty insane to hit. I removed four buffs in one hit. Oh, that's spicy as hell. Okay. I'll put this in actually, so I can play a flame. My stamina is still fine. Okay. Very productive turn. Wow. Goob is missing one trigger. I know. I know. Poison. Ah, uh, this is a bad matchup. This is why we want Steel Goobert, right? Like, they don't have any buffs, or rarely buffs, they gain a little bit of mana. So my whip doesn't scale. So, our only scaling, or our main scaling, is gonna end up being the Steel Goobert. I don't think it's that good still. Like, they're... yeah. I think it's okay, though. I don't hate it. Our whip is up to 50 damage, almost. I wish I could see how much the Steel Goobert... Wait, I can't see how much the Steel Goobert triggered, right? We did win. Did we win now because of Seal Goob? I'm not 100% sure. Let's see how much armor I gained from it. I gained 96 armor. Um, how many triggers is that? It's Is it relevant? Most of our damage is still from removing buffs here. Not from the Seal Goob, right? Because it's only plus 2 damage per. It's also... Uh, that, the plus string isn't that hard though. So it's not that big of a headache. It's just the early game. Yeah, 6, but uh, that's 12 damage. 12 damage isn't relevant, right? I mean, it's relevant, of course it's relevant, but is it worth the headache of going with Silgubert then? 
And all of the money and the whetstones and the sword and... You know? I just wonder if that's what won me this matchup or not. Because how else do we... Basically, if we can find a different way to scale when there's no buffs... We just need to find a backup plan when there's uh, no buffs. Also defense. It's about 100 armor, right? It's also a crafted item, I guess. Not sure. I think it's not bad. I think it's not bad, but good is something different. I'll roll without the box and now I have good enough gems. Dude, where is my Corrupted Crystal? And where is my Stone Skin Potion? I'm getting another cap? No. Hmm. Next round is the final combined round. Final round I can hit it. Yeah. Oh, Vam Gloves are also a crafted item, but there's no way I can... Yeah, so the main issue with Steel Gruber is there's no way I can have Vam Gloves, see the Whip, and the Anvil, right? Hmm. I can speed up with one more Fanny. Oh yeah, if I use the Fanny's one down, right, onto the Steel Goob. It's not that big of a deal. I could do it. <laughs> we lost to this. We got up to 66 DPS. What did we end up losing to? They did just way more damage with this, I guess. And our defenses aren't on point. I guess. Final round for Crypto Crystal or Stone Skin Potion. But I keep missing. Unlucky. I'm rolling again. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Those are two items that upgrade my board a lot. I rolled so much for it. Entire survival, basically. It's so rough. Mm -hmm. yeah. Envil's missing one now. Oh, I could have sped up the Fanny again, forgot. Good day, you well. Thank you, Train. Good day is fine as well. Mm -hmm. I'm missing a lot. About to trigger the hard container. Nice, you can really shit on this. Big, big, big. Our DPS should be insane here. 85. It's so good. If As long as they have buffs, I'm insane. Uh, Steel Goob. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, we hit... Dude, final round that we can't combine, we're gonna hit our shit, of course. I love it. I love this game. Wow. Maybe not a crown, just in case I hit blind, because blind is so stupid. It's pretty expensive. What is better to hit than not a crown? And color is also good. Okay, here we go. Uh, and hey, Hunt, welcome. And we'll play your hardest, and then... Hmm. 
Give me spike shield one to the right to use Amethyst Pizarro container as a right side trigger. But Amethyst is a one time trigger. Oh no, wait. Every six seconds? Wait, it isn't? Very slow trigger though. Mm. Oh, so, okay, so we also figured out one banana is more than enough stamina if you just have a topaz in backpack, usually. Oh, we're facing Excalibur. Heart of Darkness wins this, but right now I don't. Like, Heart of Darkness is so good in this matchup. I've won, but I need that specifically. Like, we're up 100 DPS right now, it doesn't matter. They're at like 1,300 HP. Look at this 108 DPS, 100 to 150 per hit. Can't deal with it. Unlucky, I guess. So, what do we think of Steel Goob? It makes our positioning a little weird. It gives us another Anvil uh, trigger. It does give us a bit more survivability and damage, mainly in case we face non-buff builds. But I feel like there has to be a better solution, because it does fuck up a lot of the positioning still. 